Well, hello and welcome to Nosfera Tour Vlog number three. Now, already we are so out of sync because today it is Wednesday the 26th of October and this vlog is covering Summer Lee, which was back on the 14th and 15th of October. So a week or so has passed. I've also done the Bloomsbury gig to now and then, but life's just been very busy. Unfortunately, my job is not just going on tour with this film, I am a freelancer and so there's lots of other jobs and things going on that keep me busy. I do want to go back and make sure that each element of the tour is documented as well as can be. And thank you so much by the way for the lovely feedback so far on the vlogs. So yes, Summer Lee, you might remember, was happening the day after the Saltair gig. And you can go back and watch the second vlog, which was the Saltair gig. I was staying in Bradford and so I had to get on a train from Bradford up to Carlisle and then Carlisle to Glasgow and then Glasgow out to Cope Bridge. It was a very trainy day and thank goodness the timing worked out really well with everything so I managed to get to the museum at a good time so that I could get in, say hello to people, uh, do a little bit of rehearsal. The great thing about Summerlee is that it's a bit of a second home for me. I've played at Summerlee many times over the past few years and so I wasn't too worried at all about having to set up the instrument. Fortunately when I arrived everything was already set up and it looked pretty good. It was exciting to have that space around the organ transformed to be a little makeshift cinema. So in no time at all the gig went ahead and we actually had a sold out audience that night which was lovely. It's not the biggest area to have people sat in. I reckon we just about got to about 70 people. The night was lovely, everything went well and the thing that I love to see, lots of people being up around the organ console after the show trying to figure out how it's capable of making all those noises, all those bells, all those whistles. Now what was lovely then is that I managed to have a night here at home which is really really nice. Uh, it was lovely to just catch up with my family again in my own bed which is a very underrated thing. And so the next morning I also managed to have a lion but later that day it was Nosferatu performance number two at Summerlee. When I arrived at the museum my lovely partner gave me a lift in the car from here. Well here's what happened. out in the car park of Summer Lee, managed to roll my ankle, which is very scary when you're about an hour and a half away from performing on the organ. And if you haven't gathered by now, playing the organ is a four limbs experience. And so I'm hoping this ice pack, which one of the members of staff here kindly provided me with, takes swelling down a bit and takes the pain away a little bit so that I can actually play the organ as I should. Fortunately the pain and the swelling has gone down a bit and I think I got off lightly because it was just a bit of a verge that I didn't see and it could have been a very very nasty injury that might have halted the tour. So you know what, I'll count my blessings and it might just be a lightly sprained ankle. I could do without it though. I know how this guy feels now. Yes, it was very, 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 very scary what happened. And thinking back to it, I was a bit of an idiot because after rolling on my ankle and actually having thought I broke my foot at first, the first thing I screamed out was, the tour, the tour, <laughs> which kind of shows you where my priorities lie. But I was fine. My ankle throbbed that night when I got home. Even after a week or so later, it still hurts. And so the performance went ahead. And yet again, it was lovely, really good audience. It felt a lot more intimate and cosy because we had about half the audience we did the night before. I'm glad we did manage to give that audience a performance of Nosferatu because it turned out that quite a lot of them wanted to come on the Friday night, so they were very grateful for us adding the extra day. The film was done, just sort of packed my stuff up and came back home and slept for quite a long time. As much as I do like travelling around, 
it was just really nice to not have to stay in a hotel again or have to worry about getting on the next train. So in terms of how the tour is going so far, I am really loving it. So far, it seems like there are bigger audiences than the tour that I did last year with Phantom of the Opera. We've had quite a few people returning from when we did Phantom and lots of new people as well. It really is surprising me how well people know of the film Nosferatu. But it seems to me that everyone does have some sort of knowledge of this film. Even if they've never seen it before, they know about it. And therefore, when they see that there's an opportunity, to come and watch it with live accompaniment. They're loving it and they're coming out to see it, so that's fantastic. And I've really been enjoying how much my score for it is adapting as we go. That's the great thing about it being improvised. It changes every single time I do it. And I'm still noticing things while watching the film during these performances that I didn't clock in the previous performance. So it just shows you your work is never really done. So there you have it, Summer Lee, which accounts for Nosferatu performances number three and four to your next instalment of the Nosferatu vlogs will all be centred around the Bloomsbury performance which, as I said, I have already done at the time of making this video. In real time, tomorrow kicks off the mad weekend. I'm off to do a different silent film tomorrow at air. Don't know why I'm doing that, but it will be fine, it'll be fun. And then we've got Worthing, Towin, Stockport, Perth and Bournemouth all in one go, so that will be crazy. So, go and watch Bloomsbury when it's out, and then watch the madness unfold. <laughs>